Now let's reset our store. When the user clicks on this X button, we'll clear everything out of our store. We'll set the name back to null and we'll set the is sent success back to null as well. And to do this, we'll dispatch another action when the user clicks on this X button and we'll update our reducer file. The files that we'll be working in is the customer support action file. We'll need to create a new action in here. And then we'll also need to update the reducer and the component. Let's start inside the action file and we'll create a brand new action. We'll call this clear form. And hit tab and where are we dispatching this action from? It'll be from our customer support component. And the event is clear form. And in this case, we don't need a payload. And that's pretty much it for creating our action. Save this. Now let's set up our reducer. And down here we'll add another on method. I'll copy this, it's very similar to this. And save it so it formats it for me. And instead of calling this action, we'll call our brand new action, clear form. And we do not need to pass in an action in, in this case because we're not passing in a payload into our action here. So we don't need to pass it in here. And then here we're going to set this to null now. And also we want to set our name as well back to null. And we just cleared out our state. We could save this and we set up the reducer. Now let's set up our component. And then here is where we'll dispatch our action inside the clear back method. This gets called every time the user clicks on the X button. So we'll dispatch the action from within this method. So this store, and we'll use the dispatch and we'll call the action that we just created and it was called clear form. Make sure we bring that in from our action file and close it up correctly. And that's all you really need to do there. And also while we're here, let's clean all this up. We can remove all this now. We don't need this and we don't need this either. And we just set up our component. Let's test this out. Let's test out our form. We'll enter in a new name and everything should work as it did before. We dispatched both of our actions and we got a success message here. And then if we click on the X now, it should dispatch the action that we just created and we dispatched it from the customer support component. And then if we click on the action, there was no payload. Click on our current state and now the name and the is sent success is set to null. And the difference from our last state to our current state is this. And thanks to the selector we created in the last video, it automatically updated our view and it removed the success feedback message we were getting here. And that's how we clear our message feedback. Now in the next video, let's go over what we went through this entire module and we'll do that next.